Today, we're going to take a tour of snapping in Draw Plus, Web Plus, and Page Plus. Snapping allows you to accurately align objects, text, and pictures, both through dynamic guides, which offer up candidates from existing objects on the page, and through a grid-based system, where the measurement type, such as pixels or inches, can be configured. In Page Plus and Web Plus, snapping is on by default, and is very active, offering up snapping options before objects are even placed. Snapping can be configured in Tools, Options, then by navigating down to the Snapping Options. As we can see, snapping is already configured to be versatile, but the Use Dynamic Guides option is responsible for the majority of snapping that occurs. If we turn this off, then return to our workspace, we'll notice the guides are no longer offered up when moving the mouse cursor around. In Draw Plus, snapping functions similarly, but with a few differences. Snapping is deactivated by default. To activate it, simply click the Snapping button on the standard toolbar. We'll notice that we can snap to segments, such as the corners and middle points. Again, we can configure snapping by clicking the flyout next to the snapping button and either changing the options present on the flyout or clicking options to bring up the same dialog present in Web Plus and Page Plus. We can enable snapping to a grid for precise object placement. In Draw Plus, we enable the grid by going to View, Layout Tools, and Snapping Grid, or by pressing the hash key on the keyboard. Under the snapping flyout, we can then enable Snap to Grid. In Page Plus, we can go to View, Grids and Guides, Snapping Grid, and directly underneath this option is Snap to Snapping Grid, which we can enable as well. In Web Plus, we can turn on the grid simply from the View menu. To enable snapping to the grid, we then go to Tools, Options, Snapping, then check Snapping Grid, and click OK. One benefit of using a snapping grid is for designs and layouts that require specific measurement accuracy. For example, in Draw Plus, you could have a web graphic measuring 900 pixels by 180 pixels. By using the snapping grid, you can accurately align parts of your design. Finally, we'll look at the Snapping Distance option, which allows you to specify how sensitive and accurate the snapping is. For example, at a value of 20 pixels, we can see the snapping jumps clearly between grid sections. At the smallest value of 2 pixels, however, we can zoom in and see the snapping is occurring at much smaller intervals. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask on Community Plus, and for more tutorials, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.